What's going on everybody? It's Conti here with another video. How to create a binocular scope effect in DaVinci Resolve 16. To insert your video file into DaVinci Resolve, go to File, Import File and Import Media. Inside your media pool, left click and hold your mouse button down on the video file that you have inserted and drag this down to the timeline in your edit window. Let go of the video edit once your file is in place on the timeline at the zero second start mark. Left click once on the fusion icon at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve interface. Under nodes, left click on the media in one box and drag this towards media out one box. Shifting the keyframes window out of the way where necessary. So that you can see both these two nodes on screen. Left click once and you should see media in one and media out one present on screen. Left click once on the media in one node. Go to select the ellipse tool above the node window. Left click once. Alternatively, press shift and space on your keyboard and type in ellipse in the search box to find the same tool and go to add. Left click once. You should now see a third node appearing above media in one on your DaVinci Resolve interface. With this new ellipse one node selected, go to inspector, tools, level should be set to one, filter fast Gaussian, soft edge, I'm going to double left click on the box with the 0.0, .0 value and change this to 0.02. This will create a faint appearance on the circular outline of your binocular scope. Border width is 0.0, .0 invert unticked, solid ticked, the center X is 0.5, Y is 0.5. In order to enable room for the second half of the binocular effect, I need to shift this circular image to the left slightly. And so therefore I'm going to double left click in the center X box and change 0.5 to 0.3. Width is 0.5, height is 0.5. Should you wish to change the size of your binocular scope, simply increase or decrease the numbers in these two value boxes here. For this tutorial, I am going to keep the width and height set at 0.5. Angle is 0.0. .0. With the ellipse 1 node still selected, press shift and space and insert another ellipse tool to your node window. Left click on add once. For the ellipse 2 node, I want the same settings applied to my circular effect, including the soft edge as 0.02 .02 under inspector. However, the circle needs to be moved to the right in this case here, and therefore I'm going to change center X to 0.7. Press enter when you're done. Both of my ellipse effects are 0.2 away from center X, 0.5. The first ellipse is at 0.3, and the second ellipse is at 0.7. Return to your edit window to check to see your binocular scope effect. This may take some time to load depending on the computer that you are using for editing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the video and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.